Hello and welcome to the camper van and today I'll be looking at some vans from a company called Clever Vans which is based to the southwest of Munich in Germany. Now this company isn't really very well known outside of Germany, in fact I haven't seen any of their vehicles outside of that country. So what we're going to do today is have a look at what they do. It's a rather cheap and cheerful approach. The vans are comparatively economical. Of course here we're talking about camper vans which aren't cheap at all in any case. But uh, these are comparatively, that's a very important word, comparatively cheap and they offer solutions which are relatively simple. So let's go over to Stuttgart. Uh, but before doing that I apologize for the condition of the film. I just bought, before going to Stuttgart, a new camera. It's the Sony A6000. Stabilization isn't very good and I've tried to digitally stabilize the film. But I hope you'll understand that and in at future events, hopefully the quality of what I produce will be better. So apologies up front for that. And now let's go over to Stuttgart. Stuttgart the 18th of January 2018. This is the Clever Van Celebration 600 in a classic version costing 38,000 euros and let's have a look at the front so we can see that it's on a Citroen basis and I think the Parrot doesn't come as standard. We can walk in now have a look inside rather standard approach for a van uh, here smallish table which can be extended by one third we've got small kitchen again I say small bear in mind this is not a very large vehicle two burner hob small sink got here a fridge which in my opinion is a sensible size for a van of this nature we've got drawers under the kitchen. Here we have the toilet which would benefit more from a sliding door than this because it's so small. Having said that the shower is pretty large really. And you can put the uh, curtain around in order not to get the wood wet which is always a risk it mightn't like we also got heating in the shower down there, as you can see. Coming out the back here. Now this is the bed when it's up, which is, I'm glad I've got this opportunity to show this. This shows the amount of space that you can get to stick your bike, or you, if you're moving some boxes around or something like that. Gives you all this place, this room, to uh, play with. There is here, a step up. And over there's a big step as well, but you know, a van of this, uh, of this price, you really got to expect uh, this type of thing. You're not going to get a flat floor in a van. There you are. Some more storage, although it doesn't look like a lot from here and down here. But there's your wardrobe. So, what do you think of this? Sort of thing appeals to you or not? Some of their vans actually would work as stealth vans for those wanting to hide in the t in the city and sleep in the city. You can never look at their Celebration 600 light. You can see what it looks like with the the bed down, although here there's less room. Same toilet. And I'll show you the same van with a tent in the roof, which is over here. This is the Celebration 600. Tents an extra 4,000 euros. I 
on and this one has the option of having an extra piece of the fridge at the bottom which comes out beds down this one has a sensible sliding door which makes more sense than the uh, a, a traditional door so they have some clever vans if you like them let me know